Good evening. Today we are going to draw an ellipse given its two axes. We remind you that an ellipse is a curve in a plane surrounding two focal points, such that the sum of the distances to the two focal points is constant for every point on the curve. This constant is also equal to the length of the longest axis of our ellipse, in this case AB, as can be seen here on the screen. So the first thing we are going to do is to locate our two focal points. To do this, we set our compass to radius OB, which is half of the horizontal axis, as can be seen in the video. And now, with our compass set on point C, we are going to scribe an arc which cuts our horizontal axis at two points, which will be our focal points F and F prime. So the next step is to mark various points between the center O and the focal point F. In this case, we are going to mark 8 points and we are going to number these points from 1 to 8, as can be seen here. Now we are going to set the compass to the length A1 and with this radius we set our compass on the focal point F and draw a circle, as is seen here. Now we set our compass to the length B1 and now with the length we set our compass on F prime and scribe two arcs on the previously drawn circle which we will call 1A and 1B as can be seen here so the next step we are going to set the compass to the length A2 and with this radius, we set our compass on the focal point F and draw another circle. Now setting our compass to the length B2. With this length, we set our compass on F prime and scribe two arcs on the previously drawn circle, which we will call 2A and 2B, as can be seen here. We are going to continue this process, setting our compass to the length A3 and we set our compass on the focal point F and we draw another circle, our third circle. And now we set our compass to the length B3 and now with this length we set it on our focal point F prime and scribe two arcs on the previously drawn circle. And here we will get another point, 3A and 3B. We are going to repeat this process with all of the points. Because of this, we are going to speed up the video so that you don't get bored at home. Now we have our sixth or seventh circle. We mark our points 5A and 5B. So now we have all the points of the left side of the ellipse that we are going to draw. Now we are going to locate the points for the right side of the ellipse by following the same procedure, using the same radiuses but switching our center point, focal point F to and F prime. So now our small radiuses will be centered on F prime and our large radiuses will be centered on F. So now with our compass set to A1, to the length A1, and set on our focal point F prime, we draw a circle. Now setting our circle to B1, we set our compass on focal point F and scribe two arcs. on our previously drawn circle. We will call these arcs 1C and 1D, as can be seen here. Now setting our compass to the length A2, again setting our compass on F prime, we draw another circle. And now we're setting our compass to the length B2, we set our compass on focal point F, 
and scribe two arcs on our previously drawn circle. We will call these two new points 2C and 2D. So again, we continue this process. Drawing eight new circles again. Two new points, three C and three D. So obviously we've sped up the video again here so that you don't get bored at home. We're just following the same procedure again, locating all our new points. So now we have all the points of the ellipse that we are going to draw. There are two ways to complete our ellipse. We can join the points freehand to complete the spiral, or we can use the help of a curves template ruler. There you can see, we've joined it freehand. Okay, thank you very much. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our channel.